Hello guys, welcome to our channel Wish You Were Head. Today we have got a graphic card to review. So this is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti powered by Zotac 11GB graphic card. So let's unbox this and let's see what's there inside. Uh, it has got some cool features also. You can just I can just show you guys. So see, it's got ice strong. This is when like for maximum cooling, very efficient. And this spectra, the spectra is like RGB, uh, which you can sync using this spectra software, which is uh, they, which is they are providing with this graphic card. And freeze at ideal when there is no pressure on this uh, graphic card to work on for some game or something. There is no usage. This graph freeze works very good because there is no noise in this in ideal situation. And the fire and storm also. And fire storm is like you can fine tune it with like you can you overclock these things. Uh, the overclocking is also provided very nicely in this product. So now let's see and let's unbox this product. Oh my god. A box inside a box. Let's keep this inside. So what do we have there? I am the This is what we have. This is a VR Go brochure which we have given. Because it's a feature in this graphic card that it supports is rendered high frame uh, for this virtual reality uh, things. Uh, and this is a CD. Perhaps this will have all the drivers required for this graphic card to work. And a quick installation guide is also provided. Let's see, I'm open this. What is this? Open it and show you guys. Yeah, this is 6 pin to 8 pin connector. Okay, we got two of this. This is used for power supply. So we have two of these things. And next, this is I think now we have the main thing to open. That is pretty much it. Alright, we will open it and we will see what. Yeah, I'm very excited. Let's see what happens and how it is, how it looks. Oh my holy cow. This is like huge man. This is like huge. You can see this is huge and pretty like awesome also. It's got three fans, 90mm fans. Uh, I read about it that it kicks only when the GPU temperature is like more than 60 degrees Celsius. So this looks nice. Looks like somewhat. It looks like a car design, maybe or a space shuttle design. I don't know. But like, let's talk something about it. Yeah. So I, as I can see, uh, these are 90 mm fans, which was written on the uh, on the cover that it has a this thing freeze feature for this. So this will like this has no no noise when all the fans are working also in ideal condition. And it has got these ideal RGB strips, which will be like lighted. And it, this side also you can see it has got Zotac written over here and GeForce GTX. So this is powered by Zotac. And at the back side we can see a nice armor. Earlier in the earlier uh, graphic card, the Zotac used to give this strip which was yellow. This time this is black, so this is nice. And we got two power booster chips. I mean we'll talk about this later in this video. And so this graphic card, let me keep it here. Uh, graphic card, let us talk about the size. Uh, I mean, the size is huge. So you can see that it has got three fans also, which are 90 mm fans. And the size is like it will take uh, 2.5 slots uh, in your system. So guys, uh, please be cautious about this. Please make some room in your cabinet so that this, yeah, this piece can fit in quite nicely. Uh, the size uh, by the like, if I go by the specification is 12.8 into 5.83 into 2.23 centimeters. So this is uh, like huge. And so I've got RGB lightings also, so you can uh, manage these lightings using the spectra software which they uh, provide you using the CD. Uh, and it has also got a high, very high speed of clock. 
uh, for the memory. Memory clock is very high, so that is 11.2 GB per second. Great, that is quite nice. It has got 3584 CUDA cores and uh, the memory bit is like 352 bits, which is quite nice for this uh, uh, a graphic card. You can see over here. Uh, so let's talk about some specifications of this. Uh, while testing, like I mean, uh, when you actually use this graphic card. So when we talk about the 4K benchmark, so this guy who was sitting over here is the only graphic card which was able to give a average of 100 frames per second for GTA 5. The next, next graphic card was, I mean the Asus Strix and no, none other graphic cards of like buy and anything else like that uh, could give uh, this frame rate more than that. As far as the virtual reality benchmark is concerned, this guy who was sitting over here there also it wins the race because it renders the most frames per second as compared to its GeForce 1080 Ti graphic card which was made by GeForce only as compared to the Zotac and, uh, and many companies uh, nowadays like HTC, Rift, Rift they are using very high uh, resolution for virtual reality so I mean uh, your this graphic card is able to render super samples up to 4K which will be like virtual reality, watching the virtual reality in 4K. So this product is quite nice and uh, it has got quad uh, monitor support also, quad monitor support and as we can see quite nicely built. Now let us look at all the ports, what all it has. So uh, on the top, this is pretty much it, it's quite nice, assembled very good. Next we have the lights and everything. Ah, here we have the, the PCI Express card where you will put your graphic card if you want to put this in uh, like in on the top of your motherboard. So let me put this back in. And next one do we have ah, these are two SLI finger chips which you can use as a SLI bridge if you are using if you don't want to place your graphic card on your motherboard like if you don't want to place somewhere else in your cabinet so you can these you can use these uh, pins as well and what about at the back ports so let me show you guys it has got HDMI port the HDMI port yeah BVC port so you got every pretty much everything in here and it has got all monitor support out of the box just plug it and just play it so there's and one more thing i'm gonna tell you guys that this armor is quite strong i think uh, they have reinforced it or something like that and they have given the power boost and the power boost chips these are like high quality uh, chips in the market maybe these are used for overclocking overclocking of this uh, graphic card if you want to tune it to your performance or whatever you need so that's pretty much it about it. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.